Hi, I'm Kevin Turner. Welcome to another Rock End Rockstar. Robin Gleeson is my guest this time. Robin's uh, real estate knowledge and experience expands over 20 years, which ranks her as a survivor in the industry. Robin leads a large team of 40 people offering expertise, mentoring and training with a passion for property management and human resources. Under Robin's management, the team has achieved numerous national awards over the years, including elite status for the property management team nine years in succession. Robin recently received the prestigious Personal Excellence Award from Elders Corporate for her contribution to the industry and superior work practices throughout her time as general manager. Robin, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Kevin. Absolutely honoured to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Robin, what are the key strategies that you've implemented into your business to improve revenue over the last 12 months? Well, um, just coming on to the spate of offices that we've just had um, recently acquired, I guess the challenge for us is getting everybody onto the same fee structure. So we've done a re-evaluation of um, all of the fees and we've actually come up with a... a um, a similar fee structure for all of the offices, but we've actually just more concentrated on the ancillary fees and how we can actually increase our revenue that way. Um, there's always incentives that we, you know, we try and think of something new and fresh all the time. Um, and look, you know, we it's, it's also that thing about the difficulty about discounting fees, which is something that we don't love to do, but we have got a uh, offer at the moment where we're promoting three months management fee free. So that's just something that we've offered over the winter months. Tell me, has there been uh, has that been successful for you? Look, in the past, we've done it before. Um, it's something that you know, we, it's it's like a little fire to ignite something when things are a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. And we, I guess, with you know, historically, winter t tends to be a little bit slower. Um, and it's just something that we've done every now and then. And we sort of put a um, a stop and a start on it, so that there's mm -hmm. that feeling of that they have to sort of get in get in into the race. I've heard that people who are attracted to those sorts of offers generally come with some problems. Have you found that? Uh, look, I, I don't know that you could say that is a general, uh, that's not my, been my experience. No. Okay. But, you know, one of the terms and conditions is that they must stay with us for a period of 12 months. So it's not like you're going to get somebody that's going to sign up and then on the fourth month you all of a sudden get the sack. Mm. So, you know, we've, we've thought it through um, and it's all about conditioning the client. But look, I just think for, for people that are new to the investment market and their every dollar counts and they're often quite cautious, you know, that's quite appealing when you actually translate that into a dollar mm. value. So, I mean, in our in our um, opening spiel and our dialogue, we could actually say, look, this, this would normally equate to, you know, $800 or something like that. Um, it may not be that amount. That's just something I've pulled okay. out. But that, yeah. but that is a significant saving to somebody who's coming into the investment market. So, you know, each case is going to have, it's going to be case by case. Mm -hmm. But but certainly I've not had um, anybody that, you know, has come to us, you know, that that um, we've we, that's come with some... Some, some issues, some baggage. With yeah. baggage, yeah. As we know, there are six offices in your group, Robin, and, and I don't know that you're looking to move to a cloud-based system that uh, is going to help you uh, when you've got different people in various locations. What have been the challenges in that area for you, Robin? Look, um, it's certainly only something that's very new, so we're still working through those challenges. Um, you know, quite, in, in a couple of cases, the acquisitions have been that the previous owners have actually stayed on throughout those businesses, which, like myself, I did the same thing when the acquisition came to me and I actually stayed on in the business. And I think that in itself is gold because you're still doing what you always do mm. and there's nobody that knows the business like the business owner. So I think in some of the offices that we've acquired, that's actually happened. So I guess moving forward, as I said, it's all it's all very new. Um, it's just, you know, the, it, it comes with some physical challenges and it comes with some digital challenges. Mm. We're not, I think the cloud base will take care of a lot of that um, and get to getting some uniform, unif uniform approach, you know, towards all of those offices. Yeah. Um, the office that we're working with, the, probably the closest, uh, would be uh, Crescent Head. 
and then we've also got an office in Warhope. Um, and we work with, they're, they're sort of easy to, to um, get around. So we have a little roster system where we all will pop out and, and do our thing and visit them, make sure that they're okay. Mm. Uh, but certainly it's only fairly new. So we've still got some challenges ahead of us, but mm. I'm sure that we'll be able to overcome them. Rock End's property tree allows you to do that, doesn't it? Uh, for you personally, how do you stay on top of technology? And it's uh, because it's moving so fast. So I think you have to stay on top of it, Kevin. It's, 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 um, you know, failure is not a choice. Mm. And, and to be able to, you know, have that mentality, you have to stay on top of technology, be it challenging or whatever. But um, it, probably in the last 12 months, we've embraced um, Inspection Manager and Real Estate Inspect. And we've also embraced Flick It Over, which is like an electronic um, lease sign up for the tenant that they can actually do electronically. So I think for the majority of it, the, the Flick It Over was an absolute hit the tenants absolutely love it, and it, it takes up a lot of labour. Uh, we've, we've sort of had to really refine it somewhat because we do like that personal touch. Mm. We still do have that personal touch when the tenant comes in to accept their condition report, report and their, their keys, and we make sure that we sit down with them and have a chat. Mm. But it's not a long and tedious chat and a labour-intensive chat because, you know, under those conditions, usually people are, are wanting that express lane anyway because they want to get in and get out and get out to the removalist truck. Mm. But Flick It Over has been amazing. We've absolutely embraced that and loved it. So they're the three things that we've actually embraced just recently mm. that have really worked for our office. Mm. Um, obviously, there's a lot of training and, and it's a bit of a disruptor at the time. But once it's up and running, everybody's loving it and using it yeah. and, and realising the benefits. A lot of changes in the industry and a lot of growth in your company that must play havoc on team culture. The last thing we want to do is, is come in over the top or, you know, create fear in change. Mm. So it is really about baby steps and just working your way through that where it's manageable for the people that um, are involved in that process mm. because, you know, if you've been doing something the same way for a very long time, it, it can be quite overwhelming when you get an acquisition and how does and what does that mean to that person. Yeah. So, you know, you, you have to really be careful of your culture and be careful of um, how people, um, you know, how they accept that. So there's a lot of working with your people, mm. uh, you know, making sure the mentality's right. Um, but change is inevitable for everybody. Oh, you, know, it, you know, and, yeah. I, and I think, um, you know, there's big changes and there's little changes. So, mm. you know, is this a big change? It's probably not really when you think of the magnitude of other changes that are out there. So I guess it's just working with people and getting them to be on the same train. Robin, what do you see as the biggest challenge to property management businesses in the next 12 months? Well, as I understand with the with the cloud base, I think that's going to be there's going to have some benefits. Um, there's also the, the 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 challenge in that is that you're completely um, transparent with your tenant and your owner, and they can actually you know see that transparency that has to be there at, at, at any given time. So you know it's it's how that technology affects. The landlord and how that technology affects the tenant, yeah. and how and how that affects the property manager. Yeah. So I think everybody has got you know, and and then how will the client actually see that yes. as a as a positive thing or a negative thing? Yes. That's always the challenge because I think um, a lot of people are fearful of change, but once it's up and running and you know twelve months down the track, I think you know that they adapt. And then that's the best thing ever. Yeah, indeed. So I think it's it's actually um, getting getting people on board with the fact that it has to happen, and these are the reasons why selling the benefits. But it certainly is a challenge because um, you know often the landlords are they you know their feedback's always important, and we always take that on. But but sometimes you don't get it doesn't get embraced no, at the other end. Yeah. yeah, and that is a challenge. Robin, thanks so much for your time. Kevin, absolutely honoured to be here. Thanks for inviting me. I'm Kevin Turner. I'll see you next time for another Rock and Rockstar.